Hello, 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 Marty here. Uh, it is the 16th of September, 2024. I wanted to do a quick video because I was on a couple of webinars over the weekend and said a few things and I thought, you know, I'm going to do one for the channel. Anybody can use it if they can, because I think a lot of people will relate to what I'm saying. I've said this before, but I want to I want to go over it again. As you can see, the thumbnail says why I'm passing and why Mr. Mufara. And I'm going to give you a real quick reason. 2004, I wound up on disability. I'm not going to get into why sleep apnea caused a big lung problem. But anyway, so now I found myself, I got to make, I got to live off of 40% less than I used to make. I made okay money, but four kids, teenagers or almost teenager uh it's, it's not cheap so i get online i'm gonna do the business online anywhere from mlm email marketing drop ship you ship didn't matter i i did it all and what happened was you know in the beginning i would get in find a business that i felt a little Felt something like, oh, this, I think this will be cool. Get in. Usually there's a kit you buy anywhere from $100 to $500. So I paid for the kit, $250, let us say, and they tell you build a list. So I build a list. Who do I ask? Go after your friends, family, you know, people you know. What do I do when I ask them? Well, I'll give them this link and... Here's what and they would give you a script, which really sounds unique, right? It sounds personable. I'm reading a script. But I'm not even sure I agree with what I'm saying. But anyway, I did it. And, um, and then I realized, wait a minute, I brought in some of my family, my friends. I don't think they're going to do this. And I told them, hey, you could build. Let's build together. You do this. I don't want to do that. Okay, hold on, hold on. So I was building for everybody I brought in, or at least trying to. And I couldn't even do it for myself. So now I've got a job that pays zero. Not only pays zero, I'm paying to be in it. Didn't know that at first. And I thought, okay, I could deal with that. You know, there's a learning curve. And when I get it, I'll make money. This went on. The first one, either the company failed or people started dropping off. And what happens is month two, you have a uh, auto ship. And now I'm starting to realize as time goes on, you know, months and months and then turns into years, there's tools you need to be, to be able to work online, to be able to even, just like any other business, you want to be a surgeon, you want to be a carpenter, you want to be a farmer, you need tools to help you move forward. So, okay, get it. Now, this is my little personal journey. So I get in, I'm, I'm learning little things. I need this, I need that, I get it. Now, remember, I'm broke. So I don't have a big budget. And the big one was traffic. How do I get traffic? Fourth or fifth, you know, third or fourth business, my family doesn't want to have anything to do with me. I'm not going to them. They won't even invite me to a picnic at this point, right? So, but I still looking at the system, the MLM, and I'm going, I get it. That would work. What's missing? So anyway. Traffic exchanges I've done, which is somehow to get traffic. But what it really is, is everybody sits around this big fishing, this, this bowl of fish, and we're all fishing in the same pond. I'm trying to get you to grab my fish, and you're trying to get me to grab yours. It's, it's like insanity. So I thought, well, I know, I'll buy a traffic exchange, cheap. I bought the script at eBay, and I had some lady do graphics. It was really cheap. And I um, hosted it for like $10 a month, really. I had to raise it because 
I was getting people into it, which is cool. But what advantage did I have other than I could leave a banner at the top of the business I'm promoting all the time? It didn't move all the time. Okay. Didn't do anything. Turned into another job. So I just keep giving my mouth myself more and more jobs. It wasn't funny at the time, but anyway. Another month goes by, another month, six months. I'm going, okay, I got a, a year goes by, two years. And we'll do solo ads. So I do solo ads, 200 bucks, 200, 200 guaranteed hits. That means 200 people are going to click on that link. They guarantee it. Sometimes I think they got a chimpanzee going, click, and they give them a banana because most of the time nobody signed up. Now, once we're, oh, you're in the wrong solo ad. There's better ones. There's top-notch ones where the big boys go. I fell for that, too. So I went in, paid more money. I started getting a couple of people signing up. I'm done. I got it. I found the secret sauce. Well, reality is they signed up, but they didn't buy anything. It's a joke. Then once in a while, I, as I kept going, because I mastered leveraging, so I would go, at one point I had 50 Twitter accounts, and I had a way of auto-tweeting, so I'm putting stuff out there like like clockwork. It's like a, like a windmill. I'm throwing so much crap on the wall, something's got to stick. But how efficient is that? And then even if I did start to build teams, which I did, how am I going to duplicate that? Marty, you're building a team. Help me. Okay, here's what I want you to do. And I explained to them what I did. And they're going, I'm not doing that. I don't even know what you're talking about. You sound like you're insane. You're right. Because while, even when I'm telling them, I'm going, nobody's going to freaking do this. Anyway. So that went on and on and on and on for years. And, and I was too dumb to quit. I was not, I don't want to say that, but I just knew the concept would work. But why are they making it so difficult? And I'm looking at these gurus, the 1%, 2%, and they're doing very, very well, but it's kind of a click. So at that point, as years went in, I would go meet them. Somehow I would be chatting with them. I learned enough where they would even listen to me, even took the time. You know, I'm, I'm a number, but I'm a high number, I guess. And I listened to them talk and all this, and I'm going. And I realized in a lot of the cases, they get the big names, they look good, they dress nice. They would get in a business with a buddy they know from another business, and they had a following. A very dedicated family because the, the guy or the woman is kind of a nice person. And you 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 build that following, you just keep working on the following, and you move from one to another to another to another every six months or a year. And people follow. That's not me. I can't do that. I don't want to do that. So 10 years ago, I run into I was in a meeting arguing with somebody, the guy that was running it, nice guy, but there was this little dark cloud feeling all the time. Like once you master what it is they want you to do, everybody else just becomes a number. It, it tore me up. I, I just, I'm starting to look at it like this isn't what I thought. I was naive. So I get a hold of Mike gets a hold of me. What are you doing? Hey, I like what you said. And, uh, so we team up and, and we're doing stuff. We did different businesses. Then we got to the point. I said, wait a minute. I got to find out how to drive traffic. It's possible. People are doing it. I got to, I got to learn how to market. We'll actually drive my own traffic, new people daily, but I'm broke. So, Dan, Mike's friend is Dan Street. Dan wasn't rich, but he had more money than me and Mike. Okay. But he wanted to be involved. And he's a very good writer. 
and he's the most level-headed of all three of us. I'm a, I'm a maniac. Mike's a pit bull, and he's normal. <laughs> but anyway, Dan gave me his credit card after about a couple of weeks because we build a trust. You know that from here. This is part of the reason why I'm a non-passive, part of the reason why on Misty Mufar, that's part of it. Just I'm going to get to that. So I get into Facebook, and I mean get into it. I look online, marketing online. I met a guy. I watched him. He was doing stuff like a, and I would ask questions. I am not worried about being the dumb guy in the room. You're going to stay the dumb guy in the room if you don't ask questions. I wasn't worried about not being able to figure it out, but I need to know where am I going. It's like, oh, figure it out. You can't figure out what you don't know you don't know. So I asked him, what ads? What are you doing? What's it called? Facebook lead ads. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. So at that point, I go to Google and Zoom and I mean, Google and YouTube, and I'm reading about it. Well, I punch it in Facebook, and I'm going, whoa. Actually, you go in, you put it, you, you make an ad, you put a image, and then you, 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 you make the ad, and then you target where you want it to go. And, and you can target it by... <clears throat> people that follow this certain big name. People that follow Elon Musk. Back then he wasn't there, but like that. Or people that live in a certain country. People that are 18 to 23. Men only. Men and women. Certain countries certain times no joke now, now i can i can do this because i know what i need to do <clears throat> now the the here's the thing so you're in a company and you learn you know how to start driving traffic so i start this little maneuver and it's costing four or five dollars a, a lead and when i say a lead somebody actually clicked and signed in they're not i'm not going to tell you they're buying that's i can't guarantee that but they are signing in big deal the problem is i don't have a budget like that so i need to get that cost down and how you do that you do a b testing and then narrow it down why how you go okay i did this ad for a month i got people coming in but it's, it's it's like dripping. It's not a waterfall. Maybe it's the image. That's exactly how you go. Maybe it is. So I get another image and put it in. It picks up a little bit. Oh. And I'm looking at the ad. And I got to make it look more, more exciting. So I changed the ad to be more exciting. Then I, I, you have to wait 24 hours every time you make an adjustment. Then it comes back whether it was accepted or not. Too exciting? Facebook says no, denied. It goes against our rules and regulations. I don't know what I said. I don't even know what word it is that they don't like. So I have to take the words out that I did. I had the words that I, I always kept a copy. Went back and put the words back in. So I got to do something though. So I would change it around a little bit more. I would put some statistics in. Most people at retirement have this much money. It doesn't need to be you or something. And the main thing I want to tell you, you don't fall in love with an ad. You fall in love with results. In the first place, I really like that. It doesn't matter what I like. And that is what everyone likes, or majority likes. Depends on what country. Some countries, I'm running an ad about something they hate. You got to know all that. 
That's what I'm saying. And I'm running ads to countries where women never click on an ad. Now I'm talking 10 years ago as I'm working up to what I have. Anyway, this went on and on and on. And we got an app. Finally, we were able, no joke, after I'm going to make a long story short, able to run and get down sometimes down to 35 cents a lead. And we're cranking people in. The problem was, I'm going to tell you, during all of this, and it's a moving target. Imagine playing darts and your board's moving. Because you don't know who on Facebook is going to look at your ad and go, you can't have that. I'm not kidding. I've done it at night. It pass in morning. Take the same ad, put it in, and it fails. Really? Go figure. Anyway, so you get this ad. It takes you. 11 weeks to get it fine-tuned. Now, the reason it's taken me so long, we don't have the budget. Otherwise, I'd run a bunch of $5 ads, A, B, A, B, and, and I would narrow it down in one-tenth the time. It was hard, but it made me learn. I learned more by it being harder. Ask me, Farah. Keep all this together. The harder it was, the more I learned. Anyway, so I uh, <clears throat> would just get cranking. I go back to Mike and Dan. I said, guys, we're killing it. They're even going, well, people are coming in. This is made the company falls. They're gone. Now, I just spent 11 weeks, Dan's money, me, Mike, myself, Mike and Dan's time, a bunch of autoresponder, everything. And this freaking company has gone. I trusted in them. Should I quit? Probably. But I'm glad I didn't. Look where I am now. And this went on over and over and over. Minnow's trying to call. Anyway, um, so this... We had one. We we had one. We brought in 20,000 people. No joke. Once you get the system and you do it long enough, but you couldn't duplicate it. So when I got to the point, the end of 2018, I said, "I hate the system." Yeah, it works. Because you know what happened when I got when we got to where we could drive traffic. How do we bring anybody with us? And Mike's telling me, you can't. No, I'll share it with some people what I'm doing. He goes, they won't do it. No, no, Mike, they might. Freaking idiot, right? So we had a handful of people were showing them. And they tried. Some I showed, no joke. I'm not doing that. I don't even know what you're talking about. Might as well have been speaking Japanese. They had no idea what I was even explaining. In fact, I told the one guy, the marketing plan that I have, that we have, I'm going to tell you what it looks like. I want you to go up a thousand feet in the Los Angeles freeway, if you ever looked at it, twists and turns and bypasses and off ramps and all that. That's our marketing plan. It's chaos. Not if you know where everybody's going. I learned that some people wouldn't click the button. They would only leave a comment. So I had to get an app that answered the comment. You know what the, the answer to the, the comment was? Well, all you got to do is go here. They click and they go there. The same place they would have went if they clicked the button. But they made the decision. They told me. But that's how it went. That's how it went every all the time. So I'm putting gadgets and I and I and I found an app that will respond to a question or a comment, a comment on the ad itself. I want more info. And it would send it. What is this about? It would send it. But I had to go in and feed all of the potential. Not potential, 
all of the words that could be asked with commas after it. I had to feed machine learning, okay? Old style. That's why I understand a little bit what's going on. So 24 seven, they're answering comments and we're getting people joining from the button, from the comments, from the fifth autoresponder, the ninth autoresponder, the 20th autoresponder, we're flying, we're flying high, company falls. This went on many, many times. But what the straw that broke the camel's back was, not only did we get ripped off for a year, yeah, we could make money. There was there was days that a lot of money was going back and forth. No, no doubt about it. But the day that you have to, to become a guru that I saw, they're going to fight me on it. I don't care. Is the day that you say, you matter, me, and everybody else is a number. And if they do well enough, you'll give them a name. That sucks. I wouldn't do that. Had a guy told me it does very well. Marty, you could be a millionaire, but you care too much about people. I said, well, if that's the freaking case, I'll stay broke. Hey, I'm just visiting here. I got to answer to somebody else. I got to answer to a higher power. I'm not going to use people. This doesn't, this doesn't have to be this way. Some, something could be different. Pie in the sky. I'm like, this. nobody, how? Somebody would have to actually change it to get all the tools that took me 20 years, 15 years of tools of learning of how to market, how to get ta targeted traffic, how to do autoresponder, how to, this is, this is, and then when a guru tells you, I'll sell you my package of exactly what I did, he's selling you something that doesn't work anymore. Why would he sell it if it did? When most of these guys don't care about nothing but numbers and women. I'm just telling you from my experience. So why am I am why am I in on passing? The beginning of 2019 talking with Mike and Dan, I said, look, the only thing we could do on a very small scale, because we're broke, is I we could get a script, sell digital products, bring people in, and share the revenue with anybody that comes in, and they share it. I don't care what it is. Because we'll get more people if we can share a little bit. But share what comes in. But we're still going to have to get how how do we get the traffic part. We, I was thinking we could use if we get a lot of money, I could build a big traffic thing. Have thousands of people from right come in and then they could purchase the traffic for their own business, which has been. Eh. But then I thought. I'm not doing that. January comes along, I go online, I go on Facebook, I see Peter Rogers, who I was in a business with uh, previously, him and Red. So Peter, what are you doing? I'm passive. You know that story. But here's what I want to tell you. This is to sum it up the best I can. Ashu Mufara made a toolkit. It's called Success Toolkit. It's not for sale anywhere else on the planet. It's not even offered. In this kit, if you decide to come in, especially as we did as founders, he's going to give the kit to you and or actually give it to us because we paid 90.70 and he put it on the product amount, which is insane. But that's who Mr. Mafar is. All these jackasses saying he's taking money. He sucks at taking money. I paid $143 in six years. Watched it, have my own video conferencing, the best in the world, for a year, over a year. What does that come down? Pennies a month? Come on. But anyway, he gave me this kit to Marty Gagoma. Here is a success kit. Open it. I go into drawers. There's 
there's targeted traffic, there's web pages, many, there's products that are in high demand. Not a widget, not a left-handed monkey wrench, high demand. State of the art, AI, AI traffic, AI targeted traffic. This is the toolkit I have. You, you know, you hear about, you need to have more than one stream of income. He gives us a pipe shop with every faucet you could imagine, every one of them are streaming. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm in on passive. Why am I following Mr. Mapara? I've seen what he's, I listened to what he said, then I seen what he's done, and then I got to know who he is. And there is no one, no matter what jackass or somebody that thinks they know him, all the crap that he's gone through, going through now, we don't even know, is doing it for us. Because I'm going to give you a really easy thing to think about. He could have built this whole thing, scaled it for him, in my opinion, hired a few people to make all the products like he's doing like he did and be the richest man in the world. He's got the brains, he's got the know-how. He's obviously got an awesome family, his wife, his kids, they're all together. But no, 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 no. He said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the weight of a million people on my back while I'm getting darts thrown at me, while people are throwing shit at me that don't even know me. And I'm gonna march ahead, do it or die. That's why I'm in bomb passive. That's why I'm with Mr. Ouch Mufara. It's that simple. No more, no less. That's why. And when you see he's excited, oh, how do you do this every day? It's not a chore. When you've been looking for something all your life, look, I've been looking for him passive back when I was 27, 28, doing Amway. Because in my brain, I thought there's got to be something. There is. But Marty can't have it until 2019. And the rest of the world, who's getting it now? And who's going to really see it? With all the crap that happened, everything happening now, we don't know the details. We will. With all the smoke and the, the fire and all that crap, who walks out of the smoke? Who's walking out of the fire? Could have ran on the other side. We wouldn't have known. He comes out and says, I'm here. Bad things happen. I'm steering this ship again. And we're going to go to the right place. Bad things happen to good people, he said. Bad things happen to good people. I'm with him in till the end. That's why I'm in on passive. That's why I'm with Mr. Mufara. And another thing that really on the cherry on top, <clears throat> what I loved about the job I had before I wound up on disability was I traveled the world and met people. And I love being around people around the world, especially good hearted people. But to be in a company that was drawn together from here, not here, not eyesight, from here, it's priceless. If I don't make a dime, if I don't make a diamond on pass, which I know we're going to make a lot of dimes, I wouldn't do anything different. I have friends and family, mainly family, all around the world. Brothers from another mother, sisters from another mister, all over the world it's priceless i'm going to a trivia game right now with people from all around the world and you know what it's like being around people that believe the glass it's full and that everything is good until proven to be bad you have to you have to prove bad that everybody here is from the heart and think about the genius of Mr. Mufara. What would happen if we gave the opportunity and, and rake some of the wealth of the world over into good hearted people? What do you think might happen? It's gonna be a fun ride.
anyway, thank you, everybody. Uh, yeah, we'll be back on. I just wanted to do this, and uh, I felt compelled to do it. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Love all of you. Uh, you if you don't know that by now, I don't know what I could do. Mr. Mafara, your wife and little boys, your family, I love you. You know that. And um, thank you for doing what you do. Bye, everybody. <laughs>